Hello and welcome to this uh, MySQL tutorial. Um, in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is showing you how to uh, create users and grant privileges to those users uh, using the MySQL terminal or using the, the terminal um, with MySQL. Okay, I'm, I'm in Linux but potentially um, it doesn't actually matter whether you're in uh, Linux or Windows. Um, it's all down to the MySQL commands. So first of all what we want to do is um, use the MySQL command um, to log in. So I'm just going to say um, dash u with root and then dash p um, and then supply my password and then just press control L to clear the screen slightly. And uh, Okay so what I want to do first of all is list all the um, users which are, uh, are in the database. So I'll just say um, select host and user from MySQL uh, user and that will do now we can see that there's only two users in there at the moment two being root and then each root having uh, a different host so I want to add my own user me being David um, into the database uh, with all the privileges which uh, root has on local host okay um, therefore I don't have to use the root login all the time I can just use my name and everything is fine okay so what's the command that we need to give okay the command we need to give is create um, user and then it's followed then by um, the user's name and then we need to give the at sign okay because this needs to be at which host now this thoroughly is completely important that you um, also then give the, um, the the single quotes as well followed by the at sign and then the host as well in this case we're going to be using the local host and then we're going to say identified by and then a password okay and with inside of the single quotes we're going to give the password ended by a semicolon that then puts the user into the database now if we then just get rid of this and issue this command once again you can see now that I'm um, in the database um, under with the host of local host now this doesn't really do anything okay it doesn't give me any access to any databases any tables anything whatsoever I can't do anything at all without some privileges therefore we need to grant David some privileges to do something now this is done with the grant um, command now you have grant is the actual command that we're going to execute but followed by that is all now in this scenario in this tutorial uh, we're just adding users okay I'm going to talk uh, do another tutorial about privileges in that but um, in order to give yourself like a super user this is giving yourself the highest super user that there is in MySQL um, we say grant all all means every single privilege that there is minus one okay and that one privilege which they won't get is grants okay but we can um, get by that and we can add it even further uh, by using another command. Okay. Next thing which we need to say is that we're granting all privileges on which database and which table. Okay. So we're going to say uh, we can use a star as a wildcard to say every single database followed by a dot, which would then um, because you always separate databases and tables with the dots. So you say the database first, followed by a dot, then the table which is on that one database. Now I want myself, David, to have full privileges on every single uh, database and on every single table therefore we're going to say star dot star okay so it's given me privileges on everything these are then wild cards um, for both um, database and tables now we need to say two by the way you don't have to do capital letters here um, you can do it all in lower case but just for the sake of doing this tutorial I'm going to do capital letters um, two and then we supply uh, the name once again as we did with creating the user we put it in single quotes put the user's name followed by the at sign followed by then the host the host is important because we're going to have to add uh, more than one user into the database because firstly I want one on local host then later I want one on um, the, the static IP address of this one server and then I might want one on then the loopback address as well so then that's um, this bit done to and next we want to do is we want to add the the grant option okay and what we say is with grants option afterwards right and that's basically it so this this bit is going to whoops this bit is going to give the um, the grant option 
and this bit is going to give select insert update delete um, and so on and create all of the other commands which you can think about um, within MySQL it's going to give everything minus the grants this final bit is the final tick in the box which is going to give everything okay that then goes in query ok zero rows affected okay so um, we now need to say flush privileges and then we should do it in capital letters but okay that's all okay um, now now basically we can sign out from this log out from this just by saying uh, quit redo this and then say mysql p and then say password okay and as you can see we're now in the database and we can say create um, database david home so we've got the database in and we can then say uh, create user say james at uh, local host identified uh, by uh, password again all really strong passwords obviously there we go and then we can say grant all on all uh, to James at local host and even them say even with grant option even with even with grant option there we go done and we'll just say flush privileges again done we can log out of this exit and now we can log in uh, with MySQL once again and we say James and then our mighty strong password which I put in wrong okay there we go and as you can see um, select host user from MySQL uh, users as you can see there's um, three users in there I mean potentially just to show you how strong um, this one uh, this one user is is that considering that David made James and gave James all privileges well you know now now James James is simply gonna say drop user and he's gonna say David at local host it's done and we can come out here we can quit out here and then we can now um, let's just do this we can now just come back in as me and with my mighty strong password as you can see I can't even log in now right which is a bit of a bummer actually because it means that I can't actually even get into the database which is crazy but if I then go in as um, then root and password and my mighty strong password again which I keep typing in wrong okay and now we can just add these privileges back on so create user that, that one there yep and then grant all to me okay so there grant all to me done and then flush privily gc however you spell it <laughs> okay done so that's that's basically it um, that's adding users so as you saw there we can say then uh, drop user and then you have to give the fully qualified um, name of the user in other words the the full host and also then th then the username okay that will then drop the user properly and then you can just say flush privileges again to make sure everything gets reloaded and it's all done okay so that's creating uh, a user also then gr granting privileges to the user potentially it's a super user that you're granting privileges to I'm going to do another tutorial about grants um, later I in the next couple of tutorials okay but first of all I just wanted to emphasize the fact that this is about creating users rather than granting but potentially in order to create a user you have to grant them privileges as well so it kind of goes hand in hand together although the grant option does need a little bit more explanation so as you understand it a little bit more 
but I didn't want to use it too much in this one tutorial. Anyway, enough of me rambling. I hope that you enjoyed this one tutorial. I hope that you got something out of it. Right, it's not very often that people, um, new uh, beginners, let's say newbies to MySQL, uh, use the the terminal to create users and grant priv privileges. Now, if you are new to MySQL, take the time to learn it now. These commands, learn them now because it's going to be so much better for you in the future if you can use the terminal because it's a lot faster in the long run once you start getting to get into um, grips with all of these commands it's just like typing out sentences and it's really really easy okay you just need to know that a little bit of the syntax and once you can then then you're off off and running right that's enough for me um, look forward to the next tutorial and uh, I hope you have a nice evening comment on the the video if you like it if there's something missing something you didn't understand something which maybe I went over um, too qu too quickly um, or too slow <laughs> um, subscribe if you want to like it if you want to do whatever it is that you want but the most important thing is the fact that you've learned something if you haven't learned something then you need to let me know that's the only thing that is important to me okay thank you right I'm off my name is David Thorne Thorne web design bye bye